Hi everyone, I'm going to be showing you a quick tour of what our visual operating systems pack looks like, what some of the possibilities of it are, and by doing so, I hope I can get you a little bit inspired and give you the desire to start experimenting with it yourself. So once you've bought it, this is what you'll get. You'll get the Mac folder and the Windows folder, each divided into three categories containing all the video files. Uh, all the video files are, by the way, ProRes 4444 with alpha channels. So it's really just drag and drop. Everything is pre-keyed, pre-masked. Um, so it's really easy to use. You'll get a PNG folder with, um, for instance, a bunch of original Windows 98 background textures. They work really well with footage regarding on what blending mode you use. And on top of that, you'll also get um, some bonus sound effects like uh, Mac error sounds, some Mac notifications. Same for the windows. You've got the startup sound, the mouse click, um, and some error sounds as well. So let's open up Premiere Pro and see what we can do with this pack. So I've opened up Premiere Pro. Uh, I've got a little timeline prepared right here with some shots from LA. Um, we've got some music video shots and some festival footage as well. Um, so let's just get started and um, start adding in things. Uh, I think I want to start with adding uh, a terminal effect on top of this footage. Um, I think, yeah, this one this is like a really matrix looking um, terminal effect. So I'll just drag and drop this right on top of the footage. Uh, you might have to rescale some of it uh, depending on what composition size you're using or what your sequence settings is, but I'm just going to leave it like this for now. But I will change, of course, the blending mode. I'll change it to uh, lighten. So let's see what this gives. That's already a pretty cool looking effect right there, um, but it needs a little bit more flair. So I'll go right into the Windows. Uh, assets and I will add um, I will add the hardware asset so I'll drag this right on top uh, maybe scale it down a little bit to 80% otherwise it takes up most of the shot like this it might be a little bit too slow so I'm gonna change the speed to um, 200% change the length a little bit so it just covers the clip and let's see what this gives all right, that's already looking pretty cool. Um, you can add in as much effects as you want. So obviously you can combine everything uh, like you want. So I'll just add another one on top of there as well. I'll change the speed to 200 as well and drag this right there. Um, I'll scale it down to 80 and I'll change the position so they don't overlap like so. Um, so now we've got this. Obviously, you can play around with the blending modes as much as you like. This is just a natural look, but you can also, for instance, set the blending mode to difference, which gives this uh, a really strange looking um, effect. So that's really cool. Um, one of the other things that you can do with our assets is make your video feel a little bit more interactive. So what we'll do is um, I'll just go ahead and type a random title right in here. I'll type for your cartel. Um, I'll change the length to the duration of the clip. Maybe change the position a little bit like so. Um, all right, so now we've got a title. Let's say you want to make your title disappear in a very fun way. What we can do is um, we'll go right into the Windows folder and tasks. The tasks are basically all the right click actions, um, the recycle bin action, save video as, all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, but for now, we're just going to be using the delete asset. So I'll just drag this on top, like so. Um, I'll maybe drag it a little bit more like so. Um, so what this does is it right clicks and then presses delete. So I'll have to change the position a little bit, like so. Let's make it line up with the O right there. So now it clicks on the O for your Fourier cartel. And then I'll just find where the click is right there. Now, if I change the duration of the title underneath, then I get this really cool looking effect as if I were right clicking the title and pressing delete. 
Of course, I can only encourage you to use sound effects for this as well. So what you could do is you can add the mouse click sound effect, um, which is in the Windows folder right there. And you can just drag it right there. So this will add some extra flair, um, like so. And we've added the mouse click. Of course, we can also use this effect the other way around. So instead of deleting something, we can paste something. So let's go into our tasks folder again, but maybe this time we'll use the Mac one. So let's go right there and search for the paste asset. So I'll just drag this right in there. And this is what it looks like. Right clicks and then paste. So um, I'll change the position of this one, put it somewhere in the middle as well, like so and then find where the click is. So the clicks right there. I'll just copy this mouse click right there as well, line it up. And then we can uh, add an effect, a texture, uh, maybe even a color grade, whichever you like. Uh, I'm just gonna keep it simple and add uh, this quick time progress bar like so. I'll make it stop there. And then we have this. Of course, we also need to have a mouse click at the beginning here. So like so, and then it pastes really neatly. Again, you're not obligated to use the assets uh, like we do. This is just a little tutorial to show you what some of the possibilities of it are. You can change the blending mode again if you'd like, uh, play around with it. It's entirely up to you to decide what it eventually looks like. Now for the next shot, um, uh, we're going to be going a little bit more old school. So we'll be adding uh, a Windows frame. So we'll go to the Windows folder, uh, go into the PNG and add this asset right there. Just drag it on top. This is one of the few assets that's already in 1080p. Um, so you don't have to scale this one. It just works fine like this. So if you go through it, it adds a really nice frame. But I think we can do a little bit better than that by maybe adding in a loader. So what these loaders basically are, they're basically gray solids that make it seem as if an old web page is loading. Um, so let's add this uh, loader three on top of our footage, like so. Might have to rescale this because it's 4K. All right, so this is already the gray from Windows. So you can use it like this. But what you can also do to make it even more interesting is use this as a track mat. So what we'll do is we'll just copy the bottom video layer by holding down the option key and dragging it on top and then adding a mosaic effect on top of this one. We'll change the settings a bit. We'll put this to 100 horizontal and 100 vertical. So it looks really blurred. And then what we can do is add the track mat key effect on there. Now, if you go into the effect controls and you see here the mat and you change it to the video channel that the loader is on, which is in this case four, what this does is you can see that the blur is only where the loader is. So this gives it that loading effect that you really like. You can change the speed of the loader if you'd like, because sometimes it's too fast, but it's not a smooth animation. So can you, you can easily change the speed to 50% to make it a little bit more slower. And then what you'll have to do is cut it here at the end, because otherwise the effect keeps on going. So what we can also do is instead of just adding this mosaic effect, we can also add a texture from our Windows 98 texture pack that's right here. Um, so let's go through this. Um, actually, this is already looking pretty good. So I'll just add texture 17 on top. So this is what it looks like. And of course, I'll have to change the blending mode. Um, I'm going to have to go with something dark. So darken, that's a little bit too subtle. Yeah, so multiply works really well. Uh, what we can do as well is we can copy the track mat key effect from the layer underneath and paste it on top here and then it loads with the texture so that's really neat I'll just cut it right there as well so that's a really cool effect we can add a bunch more on top as well we can combine Windows 98 with the Macintosh 
effects. So let's say we want some um, some other asset on top here as well. I'll change the speed again to 200, like so. And this is what we'll get. So let's move on to the last shot. Let's say we want to make our video fade out. Now, a really fun way to do this is if we go to the Mac folder and go to controls and uh, what we have here are all the different uh, little pop-ups that you have when you change the audio or the brightness on your screen, as you can see. Um, but we want to fade it out. So let's take brightness 100 to zero. Let's drag that on top and let's see where it reaches zero. That's actually a very lucky, lucky drag that I had here. It ends perfectly. Now, if we use this in combination with Lumetri on the on the footage that we're supposedly fading out, we can change the exposure, keyframe it like so, go to the ending and make the exposure drop until it's complete darkness. What this will do is it'll really make your video fade out in an interactive way. Maybe we'll change the um, position of this a little bit. So the possibilities are virtually endless and I encourage you to try and experiment with it yourself. I hope this tutorial was helpful and I look forward to seeing some really cool results. Thank you.